What if I told you there's a hormone that in one weight loss drug, it gets boosted up, and then in another weight loss drug, it actually gets blocked, and in both cases, it leads to weight loss. Sounds pretty wild, right? And don't worry, you're not alone in being confused. So today, we're diving into the magical world that is GIP, or glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. It is a key component of some of the new and very exciting weight loss medications that are currently on the market and that are coming to market. So stick around if you want to find out how this hormone may help or hinder on your weight management journey. Oh yeah, and don't forget to mash that subscribe button so you don't miss out when I put out another amazing science-backed video. Now, you've probably heard of Ozempic and Wegovy, which mimic the GLP-1 hormone, which helps us to regulate our appetite as well as our insulin levels. But then there's also Maugero, also known as Zepbound. So Maugero and Zepbound mimic not only the GLP-1 hormone, but they also mimic and act like the GIP hormone as well. But wait, there's more. Amgen, another big pharmaceutical company, is working to bring a drug to market called Maritide. And in this drug, it does the opposite and actually blocks GIP. Yet, in a recent phase two clinical trial, Maritide was shown to lead to a 20% weight loss from baseline, which thus far is pretty similar to what we see with Maugero or Zepbound. So if two drugs are having an opposite effect, how can they both lead to weight loss? It is really quite an interesting paradox, and don't worry, we're gonna break it down into tiny little bite-sized pieces just like your favorite snack. I know you want to learn more about the medical side of managing your weight in easy to understand formats, so hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you don't miss out when I put out another video. So what exactly is GIP? Well, as we've already talked about, GIP stands for Glucose Dependent Insulinotropic Polypeptide, which in English basically means it's a big protein that's dependent on glucose, so it usually only gets released when glucose is coming into the system, and it's insulinotropic, which means it helps to with the release of insulin. That makes sense given it only gets released when glucose is around. And it belongs to a group of hormones in the gut called the incretins. GLP-1 is another one of these hormones, and there's a whole slew of them that all kick in after we eat in order to manage your blood sugars, but to also regulate energy storage. So GIP not only helps your pancreas to produce more insulin, but it also goes and talks to your fat cells. And at the level of your fat cells, it tells them to store more energy or fat. So this is where things get really interesting or perhaps really complicated. So in Maugero or Zepbound, it is a GLP-1 GIP receptor agonist, which means it basically beefs up or boosts the effects of both the GLP-1 hormone and the GIP hormone. So GLP-1 goes out, it reduces appetite, it helps to stimulate insulin production, and it's going to slow down how quickly food goes from the stomach to the small intestine. Meanwhile, the GIP component is gonna play a role in how your body utilizes energy and stores energy or fat. It's like a tag team, GLP-1 handles the stop eating signal, while GIP goes and fine tunes the process and how your body is processing the energy and food that you've eaten. And when we put these two guys together inside of Maugero or Zepbound, they work synergistically or act together in order to enhance the effects of each other, which ultimately leads to better blood sugar control and greater weight loss. But what about this drug from Amgen, Maritide? It actually blocks the effects of GIP, yet it still leads to weight loss. And really, the big takeaway here is that the effect of GIP is really going to be dependent on the context. You see, when it's paired with GLP-1 in the case of Maugero, it fine-tunes energy use and works synergistically to reduce appetite and help improve metabolism. But when it's blocking GIP in Maritide, what it's doing there is it's preventing your fat cells from hoarding more energy, which then forces your body to turn to stored fat to be used as energy instead. GIP really is kind of like a light switch. Depending on whether you flip that switch up, which enhances the effects of it, or flip that switch down, which blocks the effects of it, you can control the same system in opposite ways and get the same effect. And that's what really makes it so powerful and so cool. 
And hey everyone, if you're currently living with a chronic condition like obesity, hypertension, asthma, or COPD, then I have something for you. Blue Charm is a platform that rewards you for sharing your health journey. Just download the Blue Charm app on your phone, either via the Google Play Store or the App Store, and you can complete a survey and get $100. If you use my code LYG4G8, you'll get an extra $5 on top of that $100. That's $105 for around 30 minutes of your time. So not only can you make a little extra money, but sharing your story can also drive meaningful research in managing and treating chronic conditions. Now, this is only for my Canadian viewers, so if you're in Canada, be sure to go check out Blue Charm. So the bottom line when it comes to GIP is that when it's enhancing the effects of GIP, as in the case of Mangero, or when it's blocking the effects of it in the case of Maritide, both can potentially lead to weight loss. And ultimately, which drug is better or which drug's going to work for you is going to depend on your unique biology and genetics. And is one better than the other overall? We really don't know that answer yet. What we do know is that Maritide led to about a 20% loss from baseline over a 52 week period. And it looks like the group of individuals hadn't quite reached a plateau yet. And don't worry, I will be doing a video on Maritide specifically in the near future. And of course, these drugs are just tools. They're not a magic pill. We still need to implement all the various lifestyle behaviors and changes to get the full effect in terms of them helping you with managing your weight. So while GIP and the whole biology that is around it may seem a little bit complicated, it does have some pretty cool results in how it can affect and interchange with our biology. And really, this is just the beginning of the various molecules that are coming to market in the near future and how the landscape of obesity management is going to be changing for the good. And I want to know, what are your thoughts on this GIP paradox? Are you on Team Enhance or Team Block? Drop your comments down below because I'm curious to hear your thoughts. So that is it and that is all my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it also blew your mind. And of course, if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As well, if you think somebody else might enjoy this video, then definitely share it with them. As well, check out all my links down below where you can sign up for my weekly newsletter. As well, you can stay up to date as to what I'm doing and the big things that I have coming in the near future. And of course, check me out on all my other social media channels. And as always, please don't forget that it's the small tweaks that are going to lead to those massive peaks.